Classics is a, a field in which bibliography never grows old, and we're very aware that whenever we write something, when we look at a text, that we're standing on the shoulders of our predecessors. The Oxford Bibliographies offers a great resource for one's research needs. It provides uh, cutting edge, um, relevant articles where you can find out exactly the kinds of top resources in a particular field. It's highly selective. Uh, we decide in advance what topics to cover, which ancient authors, which ancient texts. It's not like we're trying to dictate of this is what people need to know. We're not trying to dictate a canon. It's anything, we're trying to say, please tell us what needs to be known. What are the gaps in the literature? And that is what Oxford Bibliography seeks to provide, um, to fill in those gaps. We cover the field with broad strokes. Greek history, Roman history, ancient philosophy, art and archaeology, Latin literature, and Greek literature. And then we're able to expand and, and flesh out the field on such things as ancient literary criticism, Greek slavery, Roman slavery. With a database, you can just keep adding things all the time. By nature, it is digital. And that means that you are not relegated to the stacks. A student or scholar doesn't have to look up in a card catalog anymore and try to find a particular work in a dusty library. The library is alive and well. Um, it is online now. It directs students to the work of successful scholars. And they can be inspired to do something similar. And so then from that, the next generation of scholarship can be created, and that can be expanded upon. And it would be great to know that scholarship from the Oxford Bibliographies was used to create new scholarship that is later then added into the Oxford Bibliographies. The ancient world is interesting in and of itself. If you study it closely, the first thing you realize is that people haven't changed all that much. The challenge for us as classicists is to get that across to encourage people to look at ancient texts and take them seriously. And I hope that the Oxford Bibliography will help in that effort.